Wisconsin health experts are saying up to 80% of the population will need to be vaccinated for COVID-19 in order for us to reach herd immunity. And as News 8 Now's Tyler Job explains tonight, that responsibility could be up to your children. Wisconsin children are last on the priority list for the COVID-19 vaccine, but that doesn't mean they're not important. Children are certainly in a very important part of achieving population population level immunity. About 22% of Wisconsin's population is people 18 and under. We can't get to where we want to without them being uh, ultimately vaccinated. Governor Tony Evers said this past Tuesday that every Wisconsinite age 16 and older will be eligible for the vaccine starting April 5th. But the only vaccine 16 and 17 year olds can get right now is Pfizer's. I think there's a very high likelihood that ultimately um, these vaccines will be proven to be safe and effective in children and that at some point we will work them into our normal childhood immunization schedule. Pfizer says its vaccine is 100% effective in kids ages 12 through 15 from its latest study. That's not necessarily surprising. Children have been lower risk for severe COVID or complications all along. Hey, buddy. Some parents from the La Crosse area say they would allow their kids to get vaccinated. We haven't had any negative experiences with vaccines. No bad side effects or anything. And I feel like it's important for them to be safe in school and in all their activities. After they do a few more test trials and they see the results in it, yeah, my plan is. But one mom from Westby says she's undecided about it. They might at some point. We're not, it's not a huge high priority for me, for my children. Um, just because I, you know, it's, it's not something we're too concerned about them getting. Dr. Nike says he expects children ages 12 through 15 will get their first doses by the summer and for kids younger than that by the start of next year. Reporting in La Crosse, Tyler Job, News 8 Now. 23% of La Crosse County residents have been fully vaccinated. That's higher than the entire state, which is about 19% of Wisconsinites have completed the vaccine series.